Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, I'm going to be working on the Moving House Stage 20. I'm going to go ahead and open up the book. And in this stage, we're going to continue working on the basement and a little bit of work on the closet. Get the parts out. That's different the way they put that one together. Most of them don't have a lip on it. So we've got wall. Oh, okay. It says wall C and wall D, but they're marked E and F. Wall A and B, which is D1 and D2, and they have slanted edges on them. And a reinforcement column that is going to go in here. And then we have the parts for the clock. Looks like this is going to be the base. And this is going to be the upper part here. Let me go ahead and move that out of the way. And we'll go ahead and get started on here. So it says on wall D1 to lightly sand this corner, meaning that it may not fit. Matter of fact, it won't fit because the way it's put in here, maybe, maybe it'll pop in there. Yeah, it will. But now I got to get it back out. That's why they're saying to lightly sand that corner because this corner could be in the way, but I can, I'm, you just saw, I can actually push it in there, get it to pop into place. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the two edges that it requires. If you test fit in the base without glue, you will test fit. If it does not fit, sand down the corner of the tab is at an angle. So it's not, it shouldn't fit, but I'm stubborn and I can get it pushed in there. So let me put glue on here and on here. Same on this side and over here. And I'm guessing because of the way it pops in there, I probably won't need to clamp this. Come on. Okay. So, and you may, you may notice that I don't wipe the excess glue off, like right there in the corner. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not visible when the model's done. And if anything, it's going to make it a little bit stronger. So let me see if wall B is going to fit in here. And yes, I can get it to pop in there. Can I get it to pop back out? Let me go ahead and glue it. Set the glue off to the side and pop it in here. Being careful, of course, not to snap any of the parts. Push it down. This one actually, I need to clamp in both directions because it's actually sitting up a little bit. Where did I put those clamps? Ah, right there. They're actually right in front of me practically. So let me see how I'm going to do this because I've got this angled corner that I can't really clamp on. That's not going to work. I guess I'll just have to hold it. So let me pause for a minute and we will be back. Okay, it is setting pretty well, and I was reading through the instructions, and they it confuses me when I read them, which is why I usually don't read them. Because it's talking about take the basement frame assembly from stage 19, or from issue 19, test fit the walls. That was the first thing I did. Then it has you take them back out and then glue them in. So I actually did that a whole lot quicker than I had to, or was supposed to, I guess. 
So now the next thing we're supposed to do is glue this part here. These are walls or parts E and F, and they're supposed to mount flushly against these walls here. Again, paying attention to the angled edge here because that's going to become important when we put the put the uh, put the um, slide in room in there. So let me go ahead and get the larger bottle of glue. First, I'm going to do a smaller bottle on here. Because I need to do more than just the tab. And again, it's starting it's starting to clog up again. But you see if I and when I put took that out of there, it actually started working again. When I cleaned off the tip. So there's there's that on the side or on the edges and this one. I just need to smear some glue across again cleaning out the tip of this one because it's been sitting for a while. This one's large enough that it might just come out kind of. Maybe it came out enough to where I can actually get a hold of it. And when it doesn't work I always have a straightened out paper clip available to clean the tip. It, uh, that does push it just down inside the bottle, but it should be okay. Liberal amount of glue there. Whoops, had a drop shot of the shoe out there. Slide it down on here, and I will clean off the excess up here. Make sure I don't have any all over the bottom. Hopefully that is not going to be an issue. Because, ah, there we go. It was not flush under here. So I was worried that it was going to be an issue, but I was able to get the glue to shift. Or get it to shift just a little bit. And it does point out in the instructions there is a little bit of difference between the height there. So, got that in place. I'm grabbing some clamps so I can clamp this up against this part here. Just like that. It's flush down here at the bottom. That should dry just fine. And actually, clamped it. It did push a little bit more glue out. Sorry if I'm out of camera. But now I can clean that off, the excess glue that came out there. It's better to clean off this glue now than to let it dry and have to fight with it because it's set like a rock. So there's that one. Go ahead and do the other side. Do the exact same thing, except we're going to do it in a little bit different order. I'm going to put it on here first. Okay, this is again clogged. That's part of the reason why I usually will clean it. Whoa, way too much glue. I'll usually clean it from the other side. But you see what happens when that, when I don't, I've got a huge blob of glue right here. And I'll just spread that across here. Throw that paper towel away. Put this up on edge. Fill in the glue for the edge pieces here. By the way, the, the two glues I'm using, the two bottles, have the exact same glue in them. 
Matter of fact, the bottle, the glue comes out of, it won't fit. The nozzle won't fit in here, so I put the glue into the other small or the other bottle with the larger tip and transfer it in here from there. Now let me get this slid down in here. all the way down clean off a little bit of excess here clean off there make sure we're down get three more clamps very important that you clamp it because it was sitting here spread wide open I mean, I could probably get away without clamping it. I just prefer to clamp anytime I'm gluing, especially wood. Just look. But I need to clamp it down here at the bottom as well. And I also just saw the excess glue right here. Get that off. And I've got the same thing over here. Get that off. I got the glue onto the clamp. I set that aside to dry. So let me get this out of the way and I will be right back. Almost forgot reinforcement post. I looked at the instructions and it pointed that out and I'm like, Oh, yeah. So let me put a little bit of glue. And it says to glue the shorter post in there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You'll still be able to see it with the glue on it. So you can see the very marked difference on the two lengths. And it fits in here only one direction. So let me push this down in here. No glue on the bottom. Right now that's crooked. Probably pretty important that it is standing straight up because I'm sure that the uh, floor above is going to actually sit on there. So now we can move on to the rest of the plot. We've got three pieces. Well, two pieces from today. The other part is the clock from before. Pins on the clock assembly will fit in the holes in the middle section. So you see there's pin holes there. Interestingly, oh, okay. There's actually four pins. Come on, focus. Maybe it doesn't like to there's four pins there that have got to line up into these holes. Two pins down here. Make sure that this is going to slide on the way it's supposed to. Actually, that does really well, and it's really firm. I don't even think I need to glue this. It does say to turn it over. Let me see if I can pull this back off. It does say to glue it, but I think I'm going to do it a little bit different than last time. If these pins will come out. Okay. So here's my tray. There's my glue. Put a little glue in here. And it's time to clean off the needle for this bottle. It's not Flowing. The glue's not flowing out very well. But what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to put glue on the pins, which was already working without glue, and I'm going to just put glue along this edge. Now 
And when I push it down, that should that I'll push it and hold it, and it should lock it in place. So I'm going to take this. Did not put any glue on these pins. So take this, slide it down on here. Hold it in place. You can see there, the back is flush. Hold it in place, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the clock plate, clock base. Put some glue on the pins. A little bit of glue on the edge of the piece. And hopefully I don't regret the fact that I didn't even think about dry fitting this. And then take this part, slip the pins in, hold it like that. Shouldn't take that much pressure it should set pretty well and so there's the clock completed and well i don't say it's completed and it no longer fits in here so i don't need that i don't think it's completed um it looks like something might go here and something might go here but if not it is done and that is all there is to do in this stage Appreciate you coming by. I hope you're enjoying this. Like and subscribe if you do. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. See what we're up to. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of whenever I post another video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I will see you on the next video.